You're tuned into the Capital Click on Capital 100.4 FM, and today on our stripped segment, I am proud to say, exclusively of course, Ooh. we have <laughs> Kim J. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so now this girl has done super and amazing things. I mean, she started off in modeling, yes. Then went into TV. Now she is um, a presenter on MTV and MTV yes. Base. Yes. That's like a huge thing. Look at God. Amazing. <laughs> right. Start us from the beginning. We have, please just introduce yourself to me. Okay. Um, hello, beautiful people. My name is Kim Jade. I'm a presenter on MTV and MTV Base, and I'm proudly Zimbabwean. Hey. Yay. Okay. Um, how did it start? Um, I was in uni studying at Sally's, and while I was there, I was scouted for a modeling agency. Um, after I graduated, um, I modeled for a bit, started my own blog, that's the Kim Jade blog, and that's how I started traveling between Cape Town and Johannesburg. Um, yeah, I got a taste of TV when I was still in Cape Town, but I moved to Joburg mm, almost two years ago now yeah. to pursue the dream. The dream. The dream. Now, I mean, how, how was that like? Because, I mean, leaving everything you knew and all the yeah. clothes that you had made in Cape oh. Town just to move to Joburg? How and that? Joburg and Cape Town are co- like night completely and day. Completely different. Night and day. The, exactly. the entertainment scene is diff- completely different. And like you said, I didn't know anyone. Luckily, my mom and my pa were already there. Mm-hmm. So I did have family. But for real, it was starting from scratch. Um, and I didn't have any contacts in the entertainment industry. I mean, I knew artists and rappers and DJs. But other than that, how to crack into auditions. And no one would um, take me on, like manage me in order to send me for auditions. Because they're like, oh no, you're already with a modeling agency. It could conflict with TV work. No, no, no. So no one took me on. So I basically lived in Joburg, lived off my savings, had no income for at least six months. And then when I was legit scraping the barrel, I got a DM from um, Viacom. So Viacom is the umbrella company that owns BET, MTV, MTV based Nickelodeon, Comedy Central. I got a DM from the talent manager and she was like, uh, Kim, are you interested in coming in for audition? I didn't play it cool at all. I was like, hell yes, pick me. Um, I went in for the audition and uh-huh. legit the next day, uh-huh. they called while I was in the mall with my mom and they're like, we love you. We'd love for you to be on the show. And so that's how I got into newsish. Wow, that's yes. so amazing. So, um, you know, a lot of people started knowing you, of course, when you started newsish. Mm-hmm. But um, as I was reading your uh, background and everything, yeah. you went through to a lot of uh, casting yes. uh, calls and everything. Yes. I mean, just that process. Did you ever do you ever get to a point where you were like, I don't know if this is going to happen anymore? No, completely. And I, there was an added pressure, I think, and there was a lot of people that told me I wasn't going to make it in SA Entertainment purely because, number one, I'm Zimbabwean, number two, I'm colored, number three, I don't speak um, Kosa or Zulu. So they're like, mm, you're really pushing it. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm going to carry on trying. And I think I truly believe when you work hard and you're persistent, God opens those doors for you. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what happened. So you graduated, yes. right, with, uh, in, uh, with an honors degree yes. in social work. Yes. But you took a completely different <laughs> turn. I mean, yeah, my parents what, freaked out. Exactly, I was just about to say, how did your parents react to that news? And you know, traditional Zimbabwean exactly. parents are like, modeling, what is this hobby? Yeah, no. They, um, they were like, if you're going to do this, you're going to do it without our financial support. And basically, that's wow. what happened. Um, and it's cool. I think that's the reason why I pushed so hard, partly because I was stubborn and I was like, I will not fail. I will show you. And obviously, because I love, I loved it. I loved what I was doing. And it was completely different. It's not something that you can study or learn. It's just, yeah. It's, wow. Mm. I mean, well, obviously, when the paper started coming in, they must have started. It like wasn't branding. the paper because you really don't make money in modeling for like the first two, three years, wow. to be really honest with you. I supplemented my modeling income. I was doing promo jobs. I was handing out flyers on the highway. This is with an honors degree, by the way. Wow. That's how dedicated I was to making it happen. Mm-hmm. I was waitressing. Um, I was hostessing in clubs. Everything that I needed to do in order to make sure that, you know, I succeed. Um... They, they started seeing it when they saw my first print ad in stores. So I did a thing for Food Lovers Market. Yeah. It was, I was like holding a peach and I was like, like, and it was in all the stores nationwide, like big banners. And when my parents saw that, they were like, wow. And then I was in TV commercials and their friends would be like, we saw your child. And they're like, yes, that's my child. And so that's, that's when they were kind of like, okay, this, this thing has it. potential. This yeah. Is it. So another big thing that you've done, of course, just raising the Zimbabwean flag. You're the first Zimbabwean brand ambassador forever. Revlon. Yes, I am not an ambassador. I'm uh, the face of the Revlon, face, exactly. which is pretty incredible. I yeah. mean, tell us about how that call came about, how you yes. feel about that particular position, because that just makes you stand out above the rest. I completely. could cry every time I think about it, I swear, <laughs> because it's so surreal. Um, 
they had been watching us for about a year. Mm-hmm. And then they reached out via Instagram again mm-hmm. in the DMs. And they're like, we'd like to have your contact details. And they have... Um, so. Revlon has an international PR company that does their PR work for them and reaches out to influencers and potential ambassadors. So Grey Advertising in New York reached out to me on Instagram. They're like, we'd like to send you an NDA before we can discuss anything. Have you done any um, cosmetics brands, things like that? Mm -hmm. Uh, We reached out, we sent the NDA and they're like, basically, Bonang's contract is coming to an end. We're looking for new faces for the brand and um, we're in the process of interviewing 20 different South African faces. Mm -hmm. They wanted diversity. Um, They wanted women that truly live the message and the message is live boldly. Mm -hmm. So it's no longer that thing where, oh, wear this makeup and you'll be the most beautiful woman ever. It's like you are a beautiful, confident woman. You are unique and different and wearing Revlon just like adds to that, you know? Wow. Yeah, so they, um, there was a process of elimination. Mm-hmm. We went in for a series of interviews. And when we sat with the Revlon team, they didn't ask hectic questions. They were just like, tell us about you. Mm. And yeah, I can talk for days. So I went on and on and on. <laughs> and they, they, have, they liked what I had to say. That was a very revolutionary moment, basically. Because I saw the whole process. And yeah. I, I follow you on Instagram. Yay. So yeah, don't, I'm not a stalker. Yay, love. But I stalk you in, love in the a support. way. Thank <laughs> exactly, exactly. So it was, a, it was amazing. Even when you were watching the ads when they came out. Mm. And that really made you stand up because... In Africa, it had only been Bonang, yes. who was, you know, the yes. face of Revlon. Yes. And you're the first Zimbabwean to do that. Yes. So congratulations Thank on that. So we much. definitely applaud you on that. Thank you. Not only are you the face of uh, the first Zimbabwean face of Revlon, but you're also an award-winning personality, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Let's talk about the Zim Achievers yes. Awards. Uh, the votes were open to the public and for the first time... Um, Since the award's inception, she, alongside a multi-award winning journalist uh, and And presenter, um, yeah, Ancilla Mangena, were announced as the winners at the Hilton Hotel in Santon on Saturday, the 7th of April, 2018. Mm -hmm. Kim has since been listed as also one of the 40 under 30 class of emerging Zimbabwean leaders. What do those titles mean to you? Like, how do you feel when someone just... It's very surreal. It's like they're talking about someone else. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> um, when we, when I was nominated for the Zim Achievers Awards, it was really cool. Mm-hmm. And I put it out there to social media, like, please, guys, vote for me if you think I, I got what it takes. Yeah. And and I I was nominated along with Ancilla, who's a friend of mine. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yo, if I don't get it, I hope she gets it because yeah. I love her and what she's doing. Uh-huh. And she's the most incredible journalist. She's working with Forbes. Like, she's doing incredible, amazing things. And she gives back to the community in so many ways. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yeah, I hope she gets it. When they called us both up, I was like, yes! <laughs> Because that's never happened yeah. when they put two, two people, people together. Exactly. So it was. It's an honor to be um, receiving the award alongside mm. such an incredible woman that I look up to mm-hmm. and admire so much. Um, the top forty under thirty in the country, which is massive, right. because the people that are under thirty are like like you're looking at people like Shekinah. You're looking at people like, dude, AKA. Ah, so to be um like on that list of people, and that hasn't even come out yet. So you guys actually have the exclusives. There we go. I think I think we're doing well with the the exclusives right now. Right, (laughs) it's your first time on Zimbabwean radio. Yes, we have have you Ah! here, and it's the first time we're announcing that you're forty under thirty class of. So that's so amazing Look at that. all right so that was a bit of the career questions yes. but before we finish and wrap them up because we're going to get to your personal side Ooh. and then after that we're going to play a little game oh games yay you like Uh-oh. games yeah okay that's perfect <laughs> um but before we get to that i mean the industry the entertainment industry must be extremely hard and uh, i like what you said when you said you know you are your friends with ancilla and everything mm. but do you ever face a rivalry uh you know you are a zimbabwean in mm. a different market mm. do you ever face rivalry in the entertainment industry to be honest um you know when i when i was in cape town and i told everyone look i'm gonna leave and i'm gonna pursue this entertainment thing and they were like there's no way this is gonna work i i was expecting to be like to get a, a lot of maybe not negativity but not warmth mm-hmm. and and being open like open arms and excited mm-hmm. it's the complete opposite really it's really truly is from the artist to the other presenters like no Muzi is the most incredible entertainer rapper mm-hmm. female mc and she's also a former mtv based presenter she's now with another channel mm-hmm. um she is the most friendliest super nice she's like oh kim you're so great nomzamo mbata um pearl to see all these wow. incredible people they come up to you and they're like know who you are it's the strangest things. I'm like, I've been watching you guys on TV. You know my name. <laughs> exactly. And you, they're like the A-listers in Complete Africa. A-listers. Wow. Even um, we were at um, AK's listening session and Zintli mm. came up to me. She's like, hey, Kim. Hey, girl. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we can safely say you're part of the A-listers right I, now. I, I really don't think so. I, I think you are. Um, I'll, I'll take that. I think you are. One day I maybe think you I'll are. feel like I'm part okay. of it. <laughs> okay, so now we're getting to your personal side, getting mm. to know a little bit about Kim. Yes. Tell us about a day in the life of Kim. Um, In Joburg, a mm-hmm. day in the life. Wake up. I'm around 6.30, 7 a.m. up and then immediately go into coffee and then glam because mm-hmm. I do my own hair, makeup and styling for the show. Really? Yes. Girl, all self done. <laughs> all self done? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I go into studio. Um, we, Newsish is an entertainment news show mm-hmm. that's on every single day. And basically we have to do our own research. So they'll give us the top five stories. They're like, these mm-hmm. are the stories that are trending. It's what people want to know. And um, we do our own research. We do our own scripting. And then we go into rehearsals and then we shoot. Mm-hmm. So that's my morning. Um, I'm involved in producing my own show. It's called The DM, which is on MTV. Mm-hmm. Um, other than You Got Got, it is the only local content that airs on MTV Africa all over the continent. Wow. Wow. Which is so incredible because it was um, my concept and I'm in charge of scripting. I host mm. it. I bring in the talent. And we've had amazing talent from Dynamo the Magician when he yes. was here in South Africa. Uh-huh. Um, Shekinah, Kyle Kassim. Um, we're looking at getting some amazing people on the show. So check that you out. Don't, you don't want to give us a little, you know. A little uh, <laughs> everyone's like, reach out to AKA. They're like, get AKA Yeah, on the I think show. that would be a good AKA one. AKA or Nasty C, I feel like. Yeah. They're such sweethearts. Exactly. So, and yeah. also, yeah, people love them. They, so, I mean, we do. We might be reaching out. So we do. Out. <laughs> All right. That would be perfect. That would be amazing. I also like the one that you had with the um, with, uh, Muesli. Yes. That one was pretty good. Yes. Rich. And you know what's really cool about the show? Uh-huh. We don't tell them what we're going to talk about. <laughs> so that we literally have them on camera. And they're like, right, today we're talking about dick pics. And they're like, whoa. And it's, it's great. It's nice to see another side of celebrities. I feel like yeah. we don't have that on TV at the moment. Exactly. You just see them being silly and goofy and mm-hmm. themselves and out of their comfort zone. So that's really fun. I have to ask this question. What's the one thing that you can say is the most challenging thing of in the media industry? The one thing. Challenging, uh-huh. remaining relevant, mm. and staying true to who you are. Um, because, because you want to stay hot and be as hot as someone else. There is the temptation right. to change or adapt your, your presenting style, the way you dress, things like that. So you have to stay true to yourself. And I think that's what makes you stand out. Mm-hmm. As opposed to trying to blend in and be like everybody else, mm-hmm. you know? Wow. Yeah. All right. So tell us um, just uh, uh, what's the one thing that we'd be shocked to know about you? Uh, what <laughs> thing? I'm not a party animal. Uh-huh. Like I don't really like going out. I think surprise, I think you portray surprise. that amazingly because really? when you're out there at festivals, yeah. like you, you really catch the vibe. Yeah. No, I feel the vibe. <laughs> I'm there for work. Uh-huh. And then as soon as they're like, cool, cut. I'm like, it's time to go home and put on my pajamas and not have makeup and not be in glam. And so when I'm at home, it's uh-huh. like eating uh, trash TV. I love reality TV. It's uh-huh. such a guilty pleasure. Um, no makeup. I'm like the least cool person ever. So biggest <laughs> Really? Nerd. What's your favorite reality show? <gasps> Kardashians. Oh. Hands <laughs> down. Hands down. And then we're like Jersey Shore, Geordie Shore, like uh-huh. the trashier, the better. <laughs> The oh, trashier the better. Great. Everybody needs a little like, ratchet. These people I really exist. That. They fight. They pull each other. Right? They pee on themselves. It's wonderful. It's not something you would ever do, <laughs> but it's amazing to watch. Super entertaining. <laughs> All right. So we're getting into our game side of things. Uh-oh. So this is what happens, right? Oh, I was never ready. Okay, <laughs> you go. were never ready. Yeah. So I'm going to put a timer. Okay. Um, I'm going to put a timer on you. We're gonna get. We're gonna. Um, we're gonna have 30 seconds for you to answer 10 questions. Oh, no. That means you have three minutes to think about um, the answer for okay. each question. Yeah. Are you ready for this? Not really. But I'm oh, it's going to be it, amazing. Give it my me. best shot. And then here's what we're going to do. Okay. And I'll bet you on this. I have one bonus question, mm-hmm. right? That's mm-hmm. the 11th question. Mm-hmm. And you can decide whether or not to answer it. Okay. Only if you don't get, if you, um, only if you finish all the questions okay. within 30 seconds. Okay. Cool. How would you describe yourself to people who don't know you? Um, funny, uh, real, short. Okay. What's something that people would be surprised to know about you? Um, I don't really drink that much. I have a terrible tolerance for alcohol. Um, and yeah, when I'm at home, I'm very basic looking. Okay. Uh, tell me something great about Zimbabwe in a Zimbabwean language. Um, um, Mian Vanak, guys, put him on the spot. Um, I don't know. Tanda. Okay, I, we love our home. I am so sorry. Please don't kill me. I love you guys. <laughs> All right. Um, what are your activity recommendations for someone visiting Zimbabwe for the first time? Ooh, um, Vic Falls have to. Mm-hmm. Um, 
you can walk with lions in Gweru, mm-hmm. amazing. Um, and go eat proper traditional foods. Our sadza is better than pup in South Africa. Hello. Okay. What is your biggest pet peeve? Oh, people being late drives me mental. <laughs> oh, because I'm like OCD okay. with time. Yeah. <laughs> what is the one word? Uh, what is the one word you live by? Mm. Genuine. Be genuine and authentic, and you can't go wrong. I don't think. Okay. If you had a superpower, what would it be? Uh, grow my hair so it's like as real as these extensions, and that would be great. What's your go-to <laughs> karaoke song? Uh, ooh, maybe something Sam Smith. At the moment, I'm vibing Prey. I love that song. Okay, what's your favorite fashion trend of all time? <laughs> sweats. Guys, sweats are in and they're comfortable. You don't have to suck in your tummy. Great. All right. Say something in a language you learned in South Africa. Uh, say something. Even like hi. Or just even like a phrase. Uh, no, do you know what's my favorite thing? Uh-huh. It's Vosho. It's a dance move uh-huh. where you like drop it and I can do it now and that makes me feel cool. All right. A biggest male celebrity crush in Africa. Ooh. <laughs> is the pool too wide? This is a good one. <laughs> this is a very good one. Um, I'm celeb crushing on Rich Mnisi. Rich Mnisi. He's a designer. Mm-hmm. He's gay. So I don't think I'd be his type. <laughs> but I'm just like his style, his aesthetic, uh-huh. um, the way he's going. It's really exciting. I'm a crushing on that. Okay. 10 questions done. And that took two minutes. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. So I win. <laughs> that means you have to answer our question, our bonus question. Cool. So it's another little game that we have. Simple, really. Uh-oh. Date, marry, kiss. Yes. Oh, I do the shit shag marry as well on yeah. my show. I love it. Yours is like PG though. Exactly. Cute. Mine is PG. Cute. It's okay. radio, so we have to keep it PG. But okay. anyway, here we go. AKA Davido Nasty C. <laughs> what are my options? Kiss. Kiss. Marry. Date. Kiss. Marry. Date. AKA Davido Nasty C. Um. Oh. I'm sweating. <laughs> there was a lot of drama with Davido, like Davido, when he came here to Zimbabwe, uh-huh. which I don't approve of. <laughs> really, really don't. Um, so if anything, it'll be like a sh- like a kiss because that's like mm-hmm. not a serious investment. So it, like it can be a kiss on the cheek, like Mwah. hey. No, no, no. It has to be like a kiss, kiss. Okay. <laughs> and date. What's the other one? Date, date and date and marry. So you left with two: Nasty C and AKA. Who would you date and who would you marry? <laughs> And I know them. This is so awkward. Um, I would date. Uh! <laughs> See, this is where my three minutes would all go all to this all one it. question. All of it. I think I would. I think I would. There you go. Ah! <laughs> I love how this is so hard for you. No, it's hard because I actually know them. Like, it's not some <laughs> random stranger. And like, we're talking. Uh, I would date. I would date. I would date, I would date, I'm so under pressure right now. I would date, look, I would date AK, uh-huh. and I think I would marry Junior because he's super sweet. All right. He's so lovely. <laughs> there you go. That took a whole, I think, two minutes. I truly to hope out. to God they never ever see this because I would be so uncomfortable. And awkward. Oh, wow. Okay. But AK, you're a good guy. Like, we love you. Catch my blood. Exactly. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming through, Kim Jade. It's been amazing. Oh Tell gosh. us what we can expect for you, from you in the future. Oh, wow, guys. Um, more travel. I'm really excited to um, share that I'm going to be going to New York City for the VMAs this year, mm-hmm. which is interesting. Insane. I've never been to New York. Yeah. And also, all the stars I'm going to see, like, I'm going to see them in real life. Like, <laughs> Selena Gomez, The Weeknd, Justin Bieber, I die. Um, so that's super exciting. Also, please, if you can support uh, my show, follow me, talk to me. I'm, I think I'm pretty good at engaging and commenting back when I can. Um, at Kim Jade on Instagram and at Kim Jade blog on Twitter. And thank you for the support. Love you guys. Thank you so much for <laughs> coming through. It's an amazing time we've had here with Kim J. Yes! Zimbabwean born personality. Woo! Making it big in South Africa. Flying the Zimbabwean flag high. We truly appreciate you. And we hope nothing but the best for you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm going to be back. You guys yes, have no gonna choice. going to be back. All the exclusive <laughs> happens right here on the Capital Click. So keep right it locked. Here. And don't go anywhere.